This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And this is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. This is the small rig multifunctional modular matte box that I believe will solve a number of problems you'll have when filming. Not just general problems all cameras encounter, but a couple of very specific problems related to the BMPCC range of cinema cameras. You've probably seen a matte box before. They're the boxy looking things on the front of movie cameras that make them look so cool. But they actually have a more practical job than simply boosting the ego of pretentious filmmakers. Although, they will do that. Everything comes in this stylish looking card case. The first thing you'll find are these four step up rings. The matte box fits 95mm cinema lenses that normally don't have a filter thread. The matte box clamps to the outside of the lens. If you're using still lenses, you can screw these step up rings on and the matte box will clamp to them. Under that you'll find the matte box itself. It comes with this French flag that can be used to stop unwanted glare and can help to increase contrast when shooting directly into the sun. You have the shading hood that is backed with this nice black velvet type material that soaks up as much light as possible and stops it from bouncing around and finding its way into the lens. It's held in place by magnets and you can remove it by lifting the two handles on either side. This lets you add more filter tray holders so you can stack multiple filters. The matte box takes common 4x5.65 filters. Some of the other matte boxes on the market use proprietary filters. I like that small rig aren't trying to lock you into this system. The filters fit in this filter frame and then you slide them into the top of the matte box, like so. You also get this support if you want to attach it to 15mm rods, but the box is so light it's not a problem having it just clamped to your lens. Only the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro has internal ND filters. If you use the 4K or 6K, you'll need a variable ND filter if you want to shoot wide open in bright conditions. You can get this matte box with an included VND filter kit, which I'd highly recommend. This is a 95mm variable ND filter within a filter tray that gives you 1 to 8 stops of ND without the dreaded X effect from cross polarization. The VND has a slight shift to yellow that decreases the more stops of ND that you use. Of the three pocket cinema cameras, the matte box is probably best suited to the 6K. But even though the 6K Pro has internal ND filters, they only go up in twos. Two, four, six. So having a VND where you can dial in the exact exposure might be helpful. And of course you can double up. Six stops in the camera and eight stops in the matte box give you 14 stops total. With these cameras, there's very little vignetting when using the 95mm variable ND filter. For the last few months, I've been on the hunt for the best VND for the Pocket 4K. I use a Metabones 0.71x speed booster, and this combination with a wide angle zoom lens and a screw on VND can introduce a strong vignette at the wider angles. So far, this matte box with the VND is the best solution for reducing that problem I've found. It's not perfect, the lens will still vignette at its widest, just like on the 6K Pro, but at just over 13mm on the Takina, the vignette is gone. The second big problem with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Cameras is that their IR filters, well, they're kind of weak. What this means in practice is that if you are using a variable ND filter in bright sunny conditions, then the image can become polluted with infrared light. Now this will mostly affect the blacks in the image. Things like black clothing will take on this kind of red maroon looking colour that can't be fixed in post. 
I'd like to demonstrate this for you, but this is what it looks like in the north of Britain at this time of year. Not much infrared pollution about, so you'll just have to take my word for it. With this small ring map box, you can either use drop-in ND filters that have an IR coating, or you can use an IR cut filter in front of the included VND. Both will help to reduce the amount of IR pollution in your footage. I used Joel Famolaro's Phantom LUTs to colour grade all the B-roll in this video. If you like the way it looks, then you can check out the link in the description and use the code CHRIS15 to get a 15% discount at checkout. So as I said earlier, using a matte box will make you look a whole lot cooler. Now you might be thinking, but Chris, you're using a matte box and you don't look any cooler than normal. Well, that's because I've actually maxed out my coolness stats all the way up to 11. I can't actually get any cooler than I already am. But for somebody like you who, you're probably only a three or a four, getting a matte box can make a big difference to just how cool you look. Now you might think, well, I don't really care how cool I look. And that in itself is pretty cool of you. But unfortunately, we live in a world where people's perception of us does matter, rightly or wrongly. Having a rigged out camera can give the impression that you're more professional compared to a filmmaker who doesn't. Clients love to feel they're getting value for money. They might not know much about cameras, but they do know that one looks like the type they shoot movies on. And that one doesn't. To attach the VND, you have to detach the front of the matte box. You can't simply slide it in from the top like the standard filters. This seems like an oversight. I'm sure Small Rig could have come up with a way to make this work. If you want to stack filters, you can, but you only get one filter frame holder in the kit, and an additional one will set you back almost 100 quid. I think this should have been at least two included. One of the selling points is the way you can neatly stack filters, but you can't do this with what's included in the box. Small Rig aren't the only company that make matte boxes, so why pick this one over some of the others? If you're a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera user, then it's probably fair to say that you're in the budget filmmaking category. For the price and the features that this matte box offers, it's by far the best value matte box on the market. There's matte boxes that cost less, and do less, and there's matte boxes that cost more, but they don't do very much more. At the end of the day, this is a nice matte box, and having one can help you eliminate a number of problems you might run into when shooting but they aren't an essential purchase, and you shouldn't let not having one stop you from getting out there and creating.